it's hard to find couples where like you get along with both the husband and right. the wife, you know, they, everybody mash, meshes. So it was nice. And honestly, we probably would have had more, more than a five hour lunch because what happened was they had to go to go to dinner because dinner. they were meeting their friends for dinner and a concert. So they oh had to my leave God. us to go to them. Otherwise we probably would have stayed all night. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, that's so cute. That is so cute that the boy, his son is adorable. His son's yeah. really, really cute. He's really cute, yeah. right? He's cute, They're David. Both gorgeous. Yeah, both of his sons are gorgeous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is, it, is everything reset now? Because, you know, like, if you look at, like, fans and, you know, everyone online has a comment. Everyone's like, Jacqueline, beware, beware. We're worried for you. Like, you know, like you said, it's very authentic. But, like, is it really reset? Like, you have no reservations? Like, you know, it's let's pick up where we left off. Yeah, at first, you know, I was, like, thinking, like, what is this going to be when I met her? I didn't really know, but I felt it being genuine and I feel it being genuine now. Good. And, you know, and I don't feel like it's an act. I don't know what she would gain from it. There's nothing no, that she's definitely from me. not. Jack. So definitely I just not. think it was just like enough time had passed and it is sad the way our friendship ended. And, you know, but now it, I think if I was coming back to the show or on the show, it would be very hard because People would be like yes. dissecting it and it would whole thing and it would cause a problem and are making us talk deeper about things, you know, that would like rehash bad memories or, and because we don't have any of that now, it's just like, life is good for her. She's still on the show, but it doesn't have nothing. It has nothing to do with me. Right. My life is completely separate from the show. I'm in a happy place. So I think think it's easier for us to maintain a friendship now and just be like that was just a, a rough time in our life I mean, yeah I couldn't have imagined after I left the show ever being friendly with her I was like listen let's just agree to disagree we're never going to be friends you go your way I'll go my way that's right. kind of how we ended the seventh right. season um yeah. but then I I don't remember something sent me off again I would still talk about her I don't know. You know, you talk. Who knows? I mean, you know, listen, you can't remember every single thing, but you know, you were, I yeah. think deep, deep down, Jacqueline, you were her. And when we're oh, we yeah. Taurus, see when we can, when I'm a Taurus too, Taurus, we can be angry and we say things and we forget about it right after we say it. But yeah. when we, but when our emotions are involved and if you yeah. hurt us, there's yeah. no, there, there's no controlling us when you yeah. hurt. It takes a lot to hurt us. So when yeah. you hurt us, you're going down. We can yeah. be mad. It could be like, fuck you, Jacqueline. Fuck you, Kim. Ha ha ha. And yeah. we're fine. Yeah. But if Jacqueline did something like to hurt, hurt me, or if I did something to hurt, like really try to hurt her, you don't, we don't get over that too fast. And then you see a side of us that you never want to see. And that's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. She hurt Jacqueline. Yeah. You know what I mean? She hurt her. And we both, we both said- Hurt each other, you know, hurt each other. Yeah. You said things, you said things uh, that you wish you wouldn't like have said, said out of her. That's yeah, understandable. Her. And, and um, you know, we worked yeah. through all that. And now we're just like, let's just pick up where we left off before all the bullshit happened, you know? Before That's wonderful. All this I'm happy Crazy for show that. and stress and all that. Um, what, but, but, you know, I, I was going to ask you- well, what about, you know, because like you said, like, you know, you mentioned Teresa and therapy and you too, Kim, and like, it seems like, you know, she is saying in the media, like, I'm done with them. You said, Jacqueline, like, you know, maybe she's learning like not to be around toxic people. Like we've heard Teresa say before she's done with Melissa and Joe, but it seems different this time. Like, do you think it's different? I feel like it's different this time. I think she's just seeing, there's just so much deep hurt that she feels, because her and her brother were so, so close before Melissa came into the picture. And I'm not saying, you know, it's all Melissa's fault, but I think oh, it caused a divide between her and her brother because, you know, dynamics change when a wife comes into the picture and yeah. whatever happened between them, I think was growing and the brothers in the middle of this. And I think, you know, once Melissa came in the picture, like her life, like things started changing in her life, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I think it just got... You know, Melissa is definitely not innocent. She's a little sneaky, sneaky. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to second both, that. They, I'm gonna both, second that. They, they both did things to each other. But, you know, it's hard when you're on a reality show and you're fighting on camera with your family. Not, really yeah, international, internationally. Yep. Yeah. And there were some heavy duty fights, heavy duty ones. Mm -hmm. What so else you got I, for us, David? I need to break, but you know what? 
um, the things that her brother would say behind her back, I would, I couldn't imagine my brother doing that to me. What a shame. Well, if she, well, if you really think she's done, I mean, do you think this is Melissa's last season on RHONJ? It could go either way. I mean, they might be trying to close out the story arc because, you know, Teresa's happily married. She's doing her thing. Like they could end, they could take them both off. They could take one of them off. But I think putting them on together is not going to work anymore. The di- no. that the, the, not going to be that. So one of them, I feel like has to go. Yeah. Or I don't know who, but I feel like one of them has to go. I think fans are tired of that drama. Like I said, what season was it? I said in my interview, I'm like, I would rather bleach my asshole. Than yes. In yes. Melissa drama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> absolutely. Drama. Absolutely. But That's funny. I, I feel like. I feel like um, I feel like that's done. That, yeah. that feud is done. What I would like to see is I would love for Melissa and Joe to be off the show. And I would love to see Teresa being old Teresa where she's yep. not under all that stress and be the yep. fun Teresa everyone fell in love with in the earlier seasons. Yeah. When she doesn't have that kind of pressure of like the family and always having to be on the defense she's a fun girl. She is yeah. funny. She does funny things. She's so enjoyable. The fans love her. She's their moneymaker. Yeah. Like I would keep Teresa on and remove the brother and the, I would, the toxic the stuff and let her be the old Teresa. I let agree with you. Her be the old Teresa. Let, let the other people fight amongst themselves. And Teresa is like the comic relief and does her like, yeah, Teresa is yeah. I agree with Teresa. you. It's, it's not, it would be nice to see a different side to her again. And, yeah. you know, and, just been under a lot of stress. I don't really yeah. think Melissa put anything to the show, to be honest with no. you. No, either do I. She's never had a, a storyline, right. a real story. Like, Teresa's like a real character. She says funny things. She does funny yeah. things. She's got all these kids. Like, I just, I just feel in a new marriage, I feel like you would see the old fun Teresa if Melissa and Joe were gone. Yeah, I agree. I second I... that motion. I would agree with that. And I mean, listen, I think that the fans are absolutely over it. No one wants to see this anymore. I think it's the last season, but what do I know? But I just, when you say one of them has to go, I just, I, I'm not team anyone, but Teresa is going to be on this show till the very end. It's, it's her (laughs) show. It, it, we do say that here, Kim, you know, you've said that. Yes, we do. Love her. They gave her a lot of power. Teresa they gave her a lot of power. Of show and Jay. She's always been exactly. Of Jay. Exactly. They you gave know? her a lot of power. They did. Yeah. They gave her a lot of her, power. Her and Karen. Well, that was a, um, what do you call it? A myth too. Like if she doesn't like someone, they're off the show. That's not true. Otherwise her brother, and Melissa never would have been on. True. This Teresa is true. And I'm not signing the contract. If they come on, they're still on. Yeah. Um, she got Kathy on for as long as she was. She was on. That's true. When her and I were feuding, I was on. Yeah, um, when her and Caroline, I came back. Caroline was, I came back on as her like, friend, as an enemy. Me, I get, she doesn't have power as to who they bring on and who they 